Hello book two students. This is a video for our mystery song number nine and that's on page 30. Now we should have already gone over this in class and we figured out what this song was so I can go ahead and spill the beans. This is Mozart's Sonata in A. Mozart is the name of the composer and he wrote a piece of music that he called a sonata and it's in A major. And here is our A major position. Notice that we have a black key on me, and that's a lot like D major position. Here are my chords. Notice that a stretchy chord has a black key on top. Here's my pinchy chord with a black key on bottom. Now for this mystery song, you will only need a tonic chord and a pinchy chord for the left hand. Those are the only chords you will play. So here is our mystery song. So let me show you the, the hands one at a time. I like to start with the left hand because it is a little bit simpler. So we're going to start with a tonic chord, and then a pinchy chord, and then in measure three, if you look really closely, this note is the same as the middle note of your tonic chord. And we know the middle note of a tonic chord is me. So we play me, fa, so, and then the second line is back to the tonic chord then pinchy chord, and then we have mi fa so again. Mi fa so, we start on so, so fa tonic chord. So here's the left hand one more time. Tonic chord, pinchy chord, mi fa so, second line, tonic chord, pinchy chord, mi fa so, so, too bad for the left hand. The right hand is the one that's a little bit trickier, so let's remind ourselves about this rhythm that we have here. This is a do to d do d. Okay, you notice that we have two of them in a row, followed by a do d do d. And then do you remember this one at the end? This is a tricky one because it's a lot like that one, but it's not the same. This one is do d to do d. So if I do the whole line, it sounds like this. Do to D do D do to D do D do D do D do D to do D. And now if we compare this measure on the second line matches the first line. This measure on the second line matches the first line. Now the last two measures do not match, so let's look at this one. This is do D do D do D do. Not too bad. All right, now let's figure out what these tonal patterns are. Um, since we can see that A do is in the second space and our first note is in the third space, I can use our little song. If do is in a space, then me is in the next space, and so is in the space above that. Okay, so we know that this first note is me, and that note is so. So we have me, fa, me, so, so. Uh, this measure starts below the first one. That was me. This is just below it, so it's re. Re, mi, re, fa, fa. And now the third measure actually is do. We can compare it to that do signature at the end. I know that's really tiny, but that's what that it says. Do, do, re, re, mi, so, fa, mi, re. So I'm going to do the whole thing again. Mi, fa, mi, so, so, re, mi, re, fa, fa, do, do, re, re, mi, so, fa, mi, re. And I think I taught you some words in class, so I'm going to sing it with the words now. Mozart wrote this sonata in A. He wrote it for the piano forte. All right. Now remember the first two measures of the second line match the first line. So we don't even have to look at that. So let's look over here. 
This is do, just like that was do. We have do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, easy. Now let's put the rhythm to it. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. So here's our second line. Just let me remember the words. Mozart wrote this sonata in A. He wrote it and it's fun to play. All right, I hope you think it is fun to play. And I hope that some of you will be able to play both hands. But again, this is a tricky one. So if you want to start with your left hand, I recommend that. You can even sing the words. Mozart wrote this sonata in A. He wrote it for the pianoforte. Mozart wrote this sonata in A. He wrote it and it's fun to play. Now, since you have nice young voices, you may actually be able to sing that high. It's pretty high for Miss Diane, but I'll show you what I mean. Mozart wrote this sonata in A. What did I tell you? Oh, that's so high for my voice. He wrote it for the pianoforte. <laughs> okay, you can all laugh at me now. All right, but maybe your voice can do that a little bit better than mine. All right, good luck with this mystery song.